We are now happy to welcome Dr. Abdul El Sayed, whose America Dissected podcast explores scientific discoveries, trillion dollar policies, and cultural trends that are changing the world. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. El Sayed. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's, it's wonderful to be here. You have been a healthcare provider, professor, health officer in an urban health department. You've run for a political office, and now you host a podcast. Where did you learn the most about public health? Who were your best teachers? And what are your most important lessons learned? Well, I, I'll tell you, I think all of us are, are going through a journey, um, and we're always learning more. Uh, I can look at every step of, of, of the path that I've been able to walk and, and, and point to a number of lessons that I've learned as a, uh, a, even a medical student um, in New York City, I learned how to listen. And I think that's one of the most important tools uh, that we bring to public health. And often we, we forget that tool. Um, as uh, a, a professor in epidemiology, I learned a lot about the importance of, of metrics and evaluation uh, in asking whether or not we're doing the right thing and, and how well we're doing it and what the unintended consequences might be. I'm really grateful to the mentorship of a longtime mentor of mine, Sandro Galea, uh, who mentored me through much of my academic career. Um, as a health officer, I learned a lot about how you put these kinds of lessons in practice. And, you know, the fierce urgency of now, as, as Dr. Martin Luther King uh, would put it, the recognition that we have a responsibility to act and we can't always wait uh, for the research. And then finally, uh, as a politician and, and public communicator, I learned a lot about what people actually pay attention to and why. And as important as empirics are to guiding what we do, we've got to be really good at telling the story of what we do and, and why it matters. And I think uh, one of the distinct, um, uh, I would say, uh, misgivings that I have about this moment, this era of COVID-19, is that sometimes we fail to tell the story of what we do and why um, and how important it is. And, and, and I think when you take all those things together, the ability to listen, uh, the ability to, to engage with serious empirics, uh, the ability to, 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 to uh, make policy on the ground, uh, and finally, the, the responsibility to tell stories and communicate, um, I find those all to be lessons that are really important um, on a public health journey. And I hope that you know, I continue to learn. Uh, there is so much out there um, that all of us have yet to learn. Uh, and I hope that we can uh, always be students in that work. Why did you think it was important to come to Denver to do a live taping of your podcast at the APHA annual meeting? I'm really excited about the, the conversation that we're going to have, uh, and we're going to be talking about public health communication. It's one of those things that we all sort of learn, um, but I think sometimes we, we don't test our hypotheses about what works. Uh, and, you know, we know that um, our, our podcast is, uh, is highly listened to by public health folks, and we wanted to bring the podcast uh, to folks and, and have this conversation in uh, the setting of the APHA annual conference because, um, you know, the people we'll be speaking with and uh, and speaking to um, in the live taping are people who are doing this work every day. And, you know, what better way to stress test uh, the conversation that we're having to, than to make sure that it is relevant and engaged with the folks who are actively doing this work uh, every single day. I also think that right now, more than ever, um, the community aspect of what we do is so important. And one of the things that COVID took away from, uh, uh, from us is each other. And I think the opportunity to come back together, uh, to engage with one another, to have those interstitial conversations that make a, a, a meeting what it really is, uh, I think was really important. So we're really looking forward to the show. Now, as a former political candidate, what do you wish public health professionals knew about the political system? And what advice would you give them on how to engage as advocates or candidates? As much as health is not partisan, it is political. And I think one of the things that um, took a lot of people by surprise in this moment was how quickly and the ferocity with which politics uh, put itself into public health in the context of the pandemic uh, in ways that, that very much damaged our capacity to uh, intervene on the pandemic in, in, in local, state, and national contexts. And so, um, you know, we have to engage with politics, uh, less politics engage with us. And uh, I think being able to do so on our terms and recognizing that our values are the well-being of other people and the engagement, the engagement of uh, science and expertise in that process um, and be willing to wage our values in the world, recognizing the political process for what it is that we can't uh, run away from it. The, the fact that people, not everybody gets to live a long, healthy life uh, means that, you know, that is a limited resource and politics ultimately is the way we uh, we divide uh, and, and, and apportion limited resources, that our work is political and we have a responsibility always uh, to be advocating for that work. And then finally, uh, one of the, the, the most important aspects of public health, particularly in this moment, is the recognition that we have to be fighters for equity. And there are people who don't believe in that concept. And um, uh, insofar as our work is about uh, the equitable 
uh, distribution of scarce resources uh, and that we are, 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 are fighters for that, uh, then we have to stand up, proclaim our values uh, loudly um, and fight for them uh, and fight for them you know, with the tools of science uh, and with the tools of, of expertise and knowledge um, and, and do so calmly knowing that we are fighting for people uh, for, 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 uh, against whom um, the, you know, the world has often uh, denied uh, a set of resources. And our job is to make sure uh, that they're there, they're there equitably, uh, and they're there sustainably. Dr. El-Sayed, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.